Assassin's Creed Valhalla recently received its last content update. This means everything that will be part of the game is now part of the game. And to celebrate, we're going to be going through 30 facts that you didn't know about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Number one. You can attack enemies with torches and generally use them in combat. There are missions which require you to set settlements on fire. This involves using the torch and throwing it on the roof. And not as many people use it to attack other enemies within game. You can either use this as a thrown weapon which will inflict burning damage or you could use it as a secondary if you're looking to get close and personal. Number two, you can teach your horse to swim. Upon building a stable in your settlements, you can teach your horse how to swim. This does what you would expect. You'll be able to ride straight across the different types of rivers available within game, making life a lot easier. Number three, also at the stables, you can upgrade your horse's stamina. This is pretty self-explanatory. You'll be able to ride your horse at a faster speed for longer periods of time. This is definitely worth looking into if you're going through Valhalla for the very first time. Number four, you can have a feast with your community at your settlement. By ringing a bell at the entrance of your longhouse, you can start a feast. This boosts your stats and the stats of the Vikings in your crew, making raids much more efficient. So this is pretty useful. Number five, Flighting is an activity available at your settlement, and it isn't something you should sleep on. Providing that you keep on winning, flighting will unlock more dialogue options which can result in conflict being resolved quickly, avoiding any combat. Number 6. You can actually recruit cats to your raid crew. Obviously, the cat is not going to help you slay enemies, but you will be able to take it on adventures with you. Number 7. You can actually encourage people to get married within your settlement. The decisions you make within missions will have a knock-on impact, resulting in weddings sometimes occurring. Number 8. Following up on this, marriages actually have a political impact on the game. A marriage between two different tribes could either create an alliance or alternatively, relationships can break down resulting in wars between different settlements. Number 9. Your relationship with the kings matter. If you was to make a certain dialogue choice that results in a poor relationship between you and a king, it could result in your settlements being attacked. Number 10. You can customize Eivor's tattoos in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No matter whether you pick the female or male Eivor, as you progress through the game, you will unlock new tattoos, which can be customized on your character, making them more unique. Number 11. Still on tattoos, the tattoo parlor is an upgrade you can get for your settlements, allowing you to have more customization options. Number 12, you can actually customize your longbow and raiding parties. This allows for your boat and crew to stand out, making them feel more like yours. This doesn't give any tactical advantage. Your crew is still your crew and the stats still resemble what your crew is currently at. But now once you do finally raid a settlement, you're going to look good doing it. Number 13, any military location in Assassin's Creed Valhalla can be raided. You can do this with your crew too. Just note that you want to make sure that you are a high enough power level to stand a chance in a raid. If not, it's just a case of you being one hit and being taken out. Number 14. You can dual wield within Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Both arms count as separate entities in game. This means that you could actually dual wield two shields if you really want to. This gets even better that you can even dual wield heavy weapons, but for this you need to be a high enough power level and use the attribute points to unlock the correct skill. But once done, you're going to be a complete powerhouse. If you do want to be really defensive, you can dual wield two shields as well. Number 15. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, your primary mount is of course your horse. This does change when you go to Asgard as well as Jotunheim. But for those that did buy into the Ultimate Edition right at the beginning of the game, or maybe you're looking to buy it at this stage, you can also have a wolf as your main mount. This is free as part of the Ultimate Edition. Number 16. The lead writer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Darby McDesert, did actually previously work on both Assassin's Creed Revelations and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We see something similar with the game's director as well, as Raph Ismaili, who worked on Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Origins. Number 17. Each piece of gear that you acquire within Assassin's Creed Valhalla, whether that's been through purchasing or looting it, it is all completely unique. Along with that, each piece of gear has its own upgrades and customizations. With there being five different ways in which you can customize, being cloak, helmet, torso, gauntlets, and greaves, there are so many different options available for you to customize Eivor in the way that you want. 
One of my favorites is by going for the Hidden One's armor. This is unlocked by going to every single Assassin's Creed Bureau. All of them are hidden and you need to go through each of them, which does include a bit of a puzzle element. But once completed, you're able to loot one piece from this set. Eventually completing the whole thing where you go back to Hypham and you can unlock everything. But even then, these are all separate parts. So if you don't want to be using everything for this Hidden One's armor set, you can mix it with some of the other sets that you've been able to finish. Number 18. At your settlement in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you can take part in a variety of mini games. This includes fishing, drinking, and even Viking themed rap battles. Number 19. For the most part, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is themed around England. The map is absolutely massive, full of cities to explore. Each city has its own quest, along with different buildings to explore and different areas to climb, taking advantage of the game's parkour mechanics. But England is actually split up into four main kingdoms, these being Wessex, Mercia, East Anglia, and Northumbria. Number 20. Still on the map side of things, there are three major cities that Ubisoft have kept historically accurate for the Viking era. These cities are London, Winchester and York. Each of these locations are full of details and places to explore. You are able to venture through these areas in free room and they are where main missions take place in Valhalla. Number 21. As we're on the topic of history, in the menus of Valhalla, you can actually access the codex. The codex pages contains history about the Assassin Order. There are six different codex pages that Hyphen will actually ask you to discover. These are placed all over England and covered up inside the different bureaus around the country. But finding all six pages, you'll be rewarded with the Hidden One armor. One of my favorites within the game. Number 22. Something that has been missing from the Assassin's Creed series for a while was social stealth. Social stealth is where you'll blend in with the people around you. This involves making sure you don't act out of ordinary and alert the guards around you. You want to make sure you stick to the crowds, helping them cover you as you make your way from point A to point B. This was a very popular feature within previous titles, but Ubisoft started to remove certain elements as they were pushing more for an RPG style of game. But with Valhalla, they started to implement these features back. Number 23. The world and story of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is absolutely massive. The map is full of places to explore. The story is full of different missions and there's loads of side content to get stuck into. And there's even some expansions on top of this with there being separate DLCs. What's crazy about all of this is that the majority of the people that did initially buy the game haven't completed any of it. Valhalla has got one of the lowest audience retention rates, not just out of any Assassin's Creed, but also a lot of other AAA games. This means if you're sat here watching this video and you have completed the game, you're part of a very exclusive club where you've experienced something that most people haven't. Number 24, you can actually meditate within the game. This does have a purpose. It will allow you to make time pass quicker. For some quests, it requires you to go through at a certain time of day. Most of the time, it's late at night. And instead of just waiting around for that time to come, you can meditate, which will get you to that point instantly. Number 25, some NPCs exploring the map will have question marks above their head. By interacting with them, they will provide information on locations you are yet to discover. Sometimes they'll give this for free, but other times they will need something in return. Number 26. Every weapon type within the game has its own distinct attack animations. This includes both heavy and light attacks. And these animations are also slightly different if you're doing this as an offhand attack. Number 27, when jumping off a ledge in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, if you have the bow equipped and the right skills, you can actually slow down time and kill enemies quickly that are below you. This means that when you land, you have fewer enemies to deal with, resulting in a lower chance of being ambushed. Number 28, you can actually use the dodging mechanic in Valhalla to put out a fire if you have been set alight. This is going to happen a fair bit, especially if going back to our previous tips, where you've been using a torch to set enemies on fire. Sometimes they fall, you end up running over them, or maybe they get an attack in on you, which sets you on fire. It's pretty useful if you ever get into a situation like this. Number 29, you can actually hunt legendary animals. Providing you have invested in the hunter shop in your settlement, once you have found and killed a legendary animal, you can have them stuffed and put on display back at your settlement. Number 30, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was just re-released. It's been out since 2020, but Ubisoft released it again on the 6th of December 2022 so that they can give PC players another option to purchase the game on Steam. 
they now get the choice between the Ubisoft launcher, Epic Games launcher, and Steam. And there you go. We have now gone through 30 facts and tips about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hopefully now you've got a bit more knowledge on the game, which will either make you slightly better with some of the mechanics that we've revealed, give you some more activities to do, or just gives you some general trivia about Valhalla. Now, if your interest doesn't just align with Valhalla, but you're interested in the Assassin's Creed franchise as a whole, then the video on screen right now will be perfect for you. This video will go through the best thing about every single Assassin's Creed title, going all the way back to Assassin's Creed 1, all the way to present day, which does involve Valhalla. So if you do want to watch that, that video is now on screen. Click that and I'll be over there to guide you through the best thing from every Assassin's Creed.